Hey, what's going on guys? Finally back. Been gone a little over three weeks for a job out of town, but now we're in the garage. We're gonna start prepping the block for machine work, so stick around. guys what we're gonna do today is uh, prep this block to have it machined um, we're gonna deck the surface and uh, make sure it's true and flat and then after the surface surface gets decked we will install our torque plates torque everything down to spec and then what that'll do is it'll contort the uh, the bores of the cylinder like slightly you know tenths a few tenths of a thousand maybe a thousand here and there but what it does it it uh mimics basically mimics uh the pressure and the tension on the block as if it's installed that way when you bore them uh, it bores the cylinders true so uh, in order to do that we have to install basically this this girdle plate back onto the bottom of the block and uh, to do that we got to clean all this ultra gray off of it uh, get it all wiped down get all the dirt off of it and we'll leave the we'll leave the crankshaft bearings in it and everything so we'll get started on cleaning it <laughs> ready to go on and want to really make sure there's no even like a little piece of grit or sand on the surface here you don't want any any kind of trash on that surface all right so what we do next before we put on the lower part we will install this uh, ARP uh, main stud kit. So this is for, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is for the uh, VQ35DE HR and the VQ37VHR. It's all the same number for the main stud kit. And you'll notice, you'll notice here there's two different uh, lengths of threads and two different threads uh, the shorter 
uh, shorter thread depth and a, a little bit more fine thread uh, goes um, towards outside of the motor and the longer more coarse threads go into the block and you don't want any lube on this because you don't want the spinning the bottom spinning when you torque everything um, you only want the nut uh, the nut spinning uh, nothing else so we'll put these in dry and we'll use an allen wrench put these in dry and we'll use an allen wrench uh, to you know just barely snug you're not trying to like pull on these really hard or anything like that so we'll go ahead and get all these installed All right, so what we'll do, we'll run these in. Let's get one you can see a little better. We'll run these in just with a little Allen wrench. You'll feel it starting to snug up. So you you just want to like just real just real easy. You don't want to really crank on these because this, this isn't. You just want you just want this bottom just uh, engaged on all the threads in the block. That's it. All of the strength and the pulling and everything will be from the nut the ARP nut and washer on top so yeah we'll uh, spin all these in like I said just just a little tug not real hard and that's it we'll uh, jump back in a minute when we got all the bolts in okay we have all the bolts just hand tight you know just snug a little bit with Allen wrench um, now what we're gonna do is drop the The girdle portion. Onto the block. Not too bad. We'll do also, we'll clean, we'll wipe a little bit where these washers are going to sit. So it doesn't sit abnormal on the uh doesn't uh pull the so it doesn't pull the stud at an odd angle like a side load or anything like that it's just and this is all still going to get uh hot tanked and washed and all that this entire setup will so but uh here in a second we'll apply ARP lube and you can kind of push it down a little bit by hand here into the dowel pins that's all the way down yep so you have your ARP washers here and you'll see what will kind of look like a concave side and a convex side. The convex side needs to go up, and you do not put uh, you do not put the ARP assembly lube on the bottom of the washer. You put it on the top, and then uh, on the threads where the nut will be. You don't want because you don't want this uh, washer spinning on this aluminum because it can damage it can damage the aluminum gallet. So. Put all these concave side down. ARP washers that down, and this is just. Uh, we still have to pull all this back apart. This is, like I said, said earlier. This is just a mimic. This is just to mimic the heads being bolted onto the engine and everything or the heads and then the lower part of the engine so uh, 
after we have all the machine work done, this will obviously all have to come back off for uh, put the crankshaft in and and all of that. So it's just prep work. Uh, with these nuts, with these nuts, I find it a little bit easy, a little bit easier to. Uh, basically put it on the bottom of the nut a little bit on each end of the bottom of the nut and just kind of get a little bit inside there on the bottom the way you're not getting this freaking lubricant all over everything because it will This way, also, if you want, you get a little bit on each of the studs here. The heads are a lot harder to deal with, head studs are because you have to, you know, you can't, can't get to them as easy as these because it's way down inside the heads. So, we'll just do it this way since we can do it like this for now. We will speed this up a little bit. Get back to you whenever. Uh, we'll j get back with you whenever we start torquing everything. All right. Now we have all those um, main stud nuts ran down. Now we want to put I'll put all these uh, surrounding bolts back in we kept all these in a bag labeled and everything so put all these back where they go and we'll follow we'll follow the tight, tightening procedure for uh, for these outside bolts and uh, the inside bolts or the studs. I'll, uh, I'll overlay the I'll overlay the order on over the video here, but it's all it's all pretty straightforward. I mean, you would do it just like you do a, a flange or um, stalling rims on your. The vehicle when you tighten them up so really simple and these will be the outside ones will be 18 foot pounds and all of these will be uh, 60 foot pounds um, we'll go in order with these outside ones here these outside ones we're going to run these in Paper got them talking nice to me. Down the bottle, it be going right through me. Brown baby, down to take a flight to me. They think that I'm stunting, but it's slight. Do, do these in three paper steps. got them talking nice to me. Guess that's why the labels want the rights to me. CD on Good my back and it feel light like to me. They think that I'm stunting, but it's slight to me. I don't Turn understand it. I don't understand it.
With my same roadies, whipping different rentals. Baby girl, what's your sign and what that Steve's do? Say you got a little bit of cash, but can he please you? Started in my DM, I might make her be him. You may even want to reconnect after you get this part done. Everything torqued a little bit. You may want to attach the block back to an engine stand. Make it a little easier to torque the bolt. It will move around on you. And now we're going to go to 40. Thirty. Forty. Says three equal steps, 60 foot pounds. So, how they got the minutes to be mad at So, down the bottle, it be going right to me. Brown baby, down to take a flight to me. They think that I'm stunting, but it's slight to me. Piling paper, got I'm talking nice to me. Guess that's why the labels want the rights to me. CD on my back, and it feel light to me. cylinder block or girdle whatever you want to call it um, everything's torqued up and the all these studs and these bolts on the outside everything is pulling on the block and some of the cylinders are probably especially since these are pulling a little bit harder than the factory ones it's a uh, unnaturally pulling on the cylinder bores um, so once once we do the next step so you basically use these to mimic the heads being bolted on so you'll use a head gasket and whatever head studs you're using you'll bolt everything up yeah next step we'll do uh, we'll do torque plates um, after we have the deck surface after we finish the deck surface and uh, then do the bore the cylinders and uh the machine work will be done. We'll also we'll also mill a little bit off the heads to true them up, but, but yeah, that'll be it for now. Stick around, and we'll get to uh, the next phase soon. Thanks for watching.